Mike Zero is clickbait. He has a leak slash speculation channel. These channels take advantage of fans that yearn for the latest updates on Star Wars. No matter what it is, these people want to hear something fresh and exciting. We've all been there. These channels gather a following. The following gets larger, and all of a sudden, they magically become credible. Mike Zero is the dark lord of clickbait. It seems as if everyone knows he's clickbait. However, his channel continues to grow. The Star Wars fandom needs to be fully aware that Mike Zero is clickbait. In my last video, I exposed Mike Zero's lies about Kathleen Kennedy being fired. Get ready now, I'm about to expose Mike Zero again. I've gone back and reviewed all of Mike Zero's leaks and rumors from The Last Jedi. The Last Jedi was released in December 2017. Mike Zero must have known I was coming and deleted all of his videos before 2016. For the entire year of 2017, Mike Zero posted daily videos about The Last Jedi, leaks, and speculation. He already had a bit of a following, and it grew much larger that year. I reviewed all his leaks and rumors for The Last Jedi. There was so much garbage, I had to limit it to the most relevant videos, proving Mike Zero is a lying sack of shit. Brace yourselves. Star Wars Episode 8 The Last Jedi Full Plot Leak Major Spoilers New Plot Reveal Leaked. This is 17 minutes of straight up garbage. I watched the whole video. None of this happened. Where did he get this information? This sounds like his own fan fiction. For the first three minutes, there's a dying cat in the background or an elephant or something. Both looking at each other. Once again, we see that Luke knows who this brave woman is, but resists to tell her that he does. Still, both looking eye to eye. Luke starts to mutter something then. What's going on in the Zero household? So in the description, he leaves a link to the story of how this plot was leaked, and conveniently, the video is unavailable. Star Wars Episode 8: The Last Jedi Full Plot Leak Ending Major Spoilers Full Ending Revealed This is a Mike Zero fan fiction. Never happen. Lies. Star Wars Episode 8 The Last Jedi Plot Leak Rey loses an arm! Massive injury! It's an interesting theory that could have happened in Episode 8. Anakin lost an arm, Luke lost a hand, both in the second movie of the trilogy. But it is 100% clickbait. He lies about talking to people in Ireland, saying they saw Rey with a green sleeve on her arm. He mentions this secret contact in Ireland in many videos. This guy might legit be a real person from Ireland, but nothing he leaked to Mike Zero happened. This green sleeve, for example, there's no evidence that they were going to cut Rey's arm off, shot some scenes, and decided to go a different direction. But 122,000 views for this video. Another made up video, he said he got this leak from a personal contact of his. He shows a fake email he received from this person, then he goes on about some bullshit with two lightsaber crystals. Never happened. Star Wars Episode 8 The Last Jedi Leaked Luke Skywalker Lightsaber Scene Photo Spoilers! He doubles down on the Ray Loses an Arm leak. Five minutes of lies, and get this, in the video description it says Grand Admiral Thrawn in Star Wars Episode 8. The video is unavailable. At this point I'm thinking he's deleting videos to hide from the Knights of Melvin. Star Wars Episode 8 The Last Jedi Luke Skywalker takes down a Star Destroyer! Oh my god! This never happened! Hashtag clickbait! Star Wars Episode 8 The Last Jedi Exciting News Luke Skywalker Lightsaber Nothing exciting here, more clickbait. 100,000 views though. Star Wars Episode 8 The Last Jedi Kylo Ren's Training Ground Nope, no training, we got nothing cool. Star Wars Episode 8 The Last Jedi Luke Skywalker in Knights of Ren Spoilers Now just a couple of weeks ago I got full confirmation from one of my contacts over in Ireland the fuck is that guy? That yes, this is the case that Luke Skywalker does indeed take out the Knights of Ren, single-handedly, one by one. This never 
happen. The Knights of Ren were completely wasted in this trilogy. They were introduced and nothing ever happened with them. And certainly Mike Zero's sources weren't good enough to predict this. Hey okay, guys, so there's your snippet of our conversation. It is below in the description, the full video. Go ahead and check it out. Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi, exciting news, Rey's new appearance. She doesn't wear black, and he says she battles a sea monster on Ock 2. That never happened. Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi, Luke Skywalker, Force Storm. Oh my god, we're gonna see a Force Storm in The Last Jedi. Luke Skywalker, Force Storm never happened. Moving on. Star Wars Episode 8: The Last Jedi, Han Solo's funeral. Spoilers! Nope, sorry Han, no funeral. Either Ryan Johnson doesn't think you're important, or Mike Zero sources are fucking terrible. You tell me. Star Wars Episode 8: The Last Jedi, exciting news! Luke Skywalker and Han Solo flashback! Oh wow, we're gonna get a flashback on The Last Jedi! He said Luke and Han Solo would have a flashback. Never happened. More clickbait. God damn it, we're only halfway through January 2017. Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi, Kylo Ren vs. Rey, Final Battle Details. Alright, this is making me click. This better be good, Mike Zero. Now, a great friend of mine who lives in Ireland gave me some brand new details. You know, just oh, see, awesome. you know, Star Wars actors doing that type of thing. Yeah. Um, Mark loved Ireland. So when it comes to this sequence, we do know that they are going to fight. That's a given, obviously. During the battle between Kylo Ren and Rey, it seems as so that Luke Skywalker will battle the Knights of Ren in the background. Rey will get injured, most likely. This is very interesting. It's very dark. Um, I don't know why I'm getting like these Lion King images in my head, but that's all I am thinking about right now. Do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe. Long live the Dark Lord of Clickbait. Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi, exciting news! Rey's double-bladed lightsaber! Oh, oh, wow! We've been theorizing about this since The Force Awakens and her stupid staff! This is a theory that he essentially says is going to happen. It didn't happen. Mike Zero is a liar. Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi, Luke Skywalker, and Story Insight. It's such a good story! Seriously! <laughs> Luke is so cool in this one, Amazing. really. And just hearing Daisy Ridley's enthusiasm right there, and how excited she really is, not only about the story, but how Luke Skywalker is in the film, really just gets me all hyped up about this film all the more. <laughs> Daisy's enthusiasm about Luke, and Mike Zero agrees. Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi, Supreme Leader Snoke's home world. Oh wow, I really want to know about Snoke. I'm clicking. Hashtag clickbait. Anything that Mike Zero says about Snoke is crap, because Snoke didn't do anything in The Last Jedi except die. Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi plot leak spoilers. Luke, Rey, and Kylo Ren. He gives a spoiler warning, completely fake fan fiction. Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi to end with a mechanical limb. Again, he is trying to push the Rey loses an arm theory. It doesn't happen. Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi, Han Solo Funeral Leaked Material. Fake news, never happened, calls it leaked material. What a fucking liar. Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi, Luke Skywalker, first words to Rey. Alright, this better be good. I think it's going to be very interesting once we get to see this film what his first words will be and what the context will be. I think it's going to be very much impactful to Rey as a character. I think that it's going to be impactful to the audience. I think it's going to be really, really special. I'll tell you this right now. Man, he is way off. Mike Zero's sources really let him down. He had no idea. Yet people still think he's credible. Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi, Luke Skywalker will be legendary. Moving on.
Star Wars Episode 8 The Last Jedi Man in Black is Snoke from the Past Benicio Del Toro Clickbait completely wrong He is so wrong about The Last Jedi Mike Zero did many videos about the Man in Black Benicio Del Toro's character Speculating who he was and he is wrong on every video Star Wars Episode 8 The Last Jedi Han Solo Funeral Shootout Scene Leaked Footage Pushing this bullshit again, never happened, clickbait, he's a disgrace to Han Solo. Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi, Luke Skywalker's first words revealed in new footage description. Fake news. Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi, Rey is guided by Yoda. Guided by Yoda, exclamation point, clickbait, Yoda didn't guide shit. Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi, exciting news of Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is 100% clickbait. So uncivilized. Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi, Snoke is an acronym. Snoke's given identity. Huge video for Mike Zero, 642,000 views. 100% fake news, Snoke isn't an acronym, there was no plans for Snoke, and Ryan Johnson killed him off. Mike Zero and his magical sources could not predict that. Star Wars The Last Jedi, Luke Skywalker will not reunite with Leia. Again, Mike Zero needs better sources. He was wrong about this one, Force Projection counts as a reunion. Star Wars The Last Jedi, Luke Skywalker and Rey scene, new details revealed. Fake news never happened. Star Wars The Last Jedi Sea Monster. Epic first look at the new creature. So here it is, and as you can see, it's white, it looks menacing, it looks creepy, and it's actually expected to be nine feet tall. We do know that Rey will be going up against the sea monster. It could be very much parallel to what Luke had to go through in the cave in The Empire Strikes Back, and when he cuts the arm off. It could be something similar to that. People actually subscribe to this guy. They actually think he's a legit channel. Star Wars The Last Jedi, exciting news! Han Solo opening crawl, spoilers! He says in the end of this video, Han Solo will be referenced in the opening crawl. Well, he's nowhere in the opening crawl. No funeral too. Worst sources in the world. Star Wars The Last Jedi Return to Mustafa. He says Mustafar's in The Last Jedi. Well, he was wrong. Star Wars The Last Jedi Snoke's lightsaber. Snoke never displayed a lightsaber in The Last Jedi. More clickbait. Star Wars The Last Jedi Luke Skywalker vs. Knights of Ren. New details, spoilers. Holy shit. I want to see Luke take on the Knights of Ren. But this is completely fake news because this never happened. Star Wars The Last Jedi Kylo Ren's throne. Exciting news. No throne. Clickbait. Star Wars The Last Jedi Knights of Ren spoilers. Exciting news. The Knights of Ren will be a bigger focus in Star Wars The Last Jedi than how they were in Star Wars The Force Awakens. We're going to have a female character, all right, as a Knight of Ren. And apparently this is a minor actress who played on Game of Thrones. Now, I'm all for it, alright? I really am. Uh, I would love, 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 love to see a character like Theora from Man of Steel in Star Wars The Last Jedi. Mike Zero gets woke. Kylo Ren visits Darth Vader's back to tank Star Wars The Last Jedi. More clickbait. Kylo Ren vs. Rey, Star Wars The Last Jedi, spoilers! New details. This fight never happened. Never happened. Kylo Ren, spoilers revealed, Star Wars The Last Jedi, new! Completely wrong, never happened, more clickbait. Star Wars The Last Jedi, return to Tatooine, exciting news. Well, we all know that they didn't go to Tatooine in The Last Jedi, so this is more lies. Luke's Darth Vader Kyber Crystal Star Wars The Last Jedi Spoilers New! This is something that Mike Zero pushed in many videos. Now I believe the crystal does exist in the books, but this crystal was not used in the movie. He said it was going to be essential to the plot. No necklace ever happened. He made several videos milking this. Now, this may surprise you. 
in my research, I was actually shocked to find that Mike Zero was actually right about some leaks. This is because, at one point in time, he slightly cared about being credible. He'd get information from internet sources such as MakingStarWars.net, ComicBook.com, StarWars.net, and he'd tell you he got the information from there. Don't get me wrong, this does not validate putting up with all the other made-up clickbait crap just to get a few crumbs of information about the next Star Wars movie. If you watched Mike Zero in 2017, or still watch him today, you have wasted your time 100%. And like all evil geniuses, Mike Zero didn't wake up one day and became the Dark Lord of Clickbait. He had to work at it. He had to gain valuable experience lying and wasting everyone's time. The fandom needs to be aware that this guy is a liar. If you thought this video was bad, for the next two years, Mike Zero would get even worse with his clickbait. For full details, stay tuned to my next Mike Zero video where I expose all his leaks, rumors, and speculation for the rise of Skywalker. I am growing stronger in the dark side every day, but I need more knights. Become a knight, subscribe to the channel, join the movement to hashtag retcon the sequel trilogy, join the Knights of Melvin Discord, help plot to take down Disney and all their shills. The dark side of the force is a pathway to many abilities some consider unnatural.